beautiful San Diego with Dominique from Verizon's government and community relations team. This is not just a day at the beach, as beautiful as this is. I'm here to learn about climate protection and Verizon's work in that space. We talk a lot about it, but uh, what do we do? Absolutely, Andy. I'm so glad you're here with us. San Diego is known for the surf and the turf, and we actually work with three incredible nonprofits that are doing work on the ground to move the needle on climate protection, actually making a difference. So you know some of the people that are taking action with us? I do, Andy. Would you like to meet them? I would love to meet them. Awesome. Let's go. All right. Let's see what happens. We're with Electra here from Tree San Diego. It's so good to be with you. Tell us what Tree San Diego is all about. Yeah, Tree San Diego is a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to the quality and density of expanding our urban forest. And it's all about more trees in more places. Definitely, like this one right here. So Electra, there are pockets of San Diego that are in desperate need of trees like this. Tell us about the strategy behind placing these trees. So I, I do like to think of it as pockets. We have these urban heat islands that are experiencing extreme heat. We need to start reintroducing urban forestry, green solutions. There are priority populations that have experienced uh, environmental injustices and part of that Im involves the lack of trees in this landscape. So we're trying to rectify that by introducing new trees with uh, through partnership and um, also through collaboration with the community. Electra, so many goals, so many places we want to plant these trees and it doesn't happen without partnerships. Tell us about how it's critical that Verizon and Tree San Diego work together. Yeah, so Verizon and Tree San Diego have identified uh, the need to help tribal communities and part of that is working with the tribes, bringing them to the table, talking about the types of trees, the native trees that they need on site at the reservation and then inviting them to educate us about the cultural significance of those trees. Yeah, I think the alignment there uh, of values is, is so critical. Certainly, and it does help um, not only to have corporations at the table, but I think partnerships like the ones we have with Verizon and others, we are going to look to expand into thousands, multiple thousands of trees in urban areas to bring those benefits, shading benefits, cooling benefits of trees to everybody. Well, we are proud to be a part of it. And uh, like you said, who doesn't like a good tree? Certainly. I can't wait to get this in the ground. All right. We planted a tree. We did a good job today. This Andy. is good. This yeah. is good. All right, we're here with Serge from Wild Coast. Thanks so much for being with us. Tell us about Wild Coast's mission. Wild Coast is an international conservation team that conserves coastal and marine ecosystems and addresses climate change through natural solutions. Basically, we help preserve some of the most beautiful and ecologically important coastal and ocean places on the planet, just like the ocean behind me, which is a wildlife superhighway. It's a shared jewel of our world here. And when we think about the players involved, particularly in this area, You've got the U.S., you've got Mexico, and Wild Coast is able to work with both. On the U.S.-Mexico border, we have a binational river, the Tijuana River. And unfortunately, Tijuana, they don't have a lot of trash pickup. And so a lot of that trash washes into the river and into the ocean. So Wild Coast has built what's called a trash retention boom or basin. And it's like a big net that captures the trash. And we work with local people in these communities to help recycle that and create jobs and protect the environment. So it's a very cool project and one that's had a big impact on reducing plastic that goes into the ocean. So it's really important for all of us that want to help save the planet and save the ocean to work across borders because the ocean doesn't have any borders and really these, these, these species, that are, these animals that are going south and north in the ocean superhighway, um, they need our help and so do the ecosystems that they depend on really to thrive in. And so that's why we're working in the United States and Mexico to make that happen and work with communities on both sides of the border, creating jobs and helping protect the environment. So it's a big win-win for everyone. Partnerships, a huge part of Verizon. We talk about it all the time, good partnerships, and certainly we are proud to be a partner of Wild Coast. Where does the power come from uh, partnership, from your perspective? Wild Coast is really grateful to Verizon because the support from Verizon really allows us to work in partnership with uh, kids from underserved communities, Native American communities, to get kids and, and folks from those communities out on the water, out into nature, doing marine science work, for example. It's really rewarding and inspiring work and more importantly that support 
really has a lasting positive impact on people's lives and on the ocean. So we're really grateful for that support. Hey, we're here with Sarah Davidson from the Surfrider Foundation. Sarah, it's so good to be with you. Tell us about what Surfrider is all about. What is your mission? Sure, it's great to be here with you, Andy. Um, Surfrider Foundation is dedicated to the protection and enjoyment of the world's ocean, waves, and beaches for all people through a powerful activist network. A day at the beach is wonderful, but in this particular spot here, those days may be limiting. They are indeed. Um, San Diego County, an area known for its beautiful beaches, um, most of the beaches, or many of the ones in the south part of San Diego County, are closed about two-thirds of the year due to impaired water quality that's making people sick. So what's happening? Where is this impaired water quality coming from? So nearly every day, millions of gallons of raw sewage, harmful chemicals, trash, and heavy metals are flowing across the Mexico-United States border through the Tijuana estuary and into the Pacific Ocean. And this is affecting more than 20 miles of binational coastline and affecting numerous communities on both sides of the border. It's, it's hard to even think about it when you have this giant ocean and your mind immediately thinks, wow, this is, this is so beautiful. But obviously Surfrider understands that there's a lot to do to keep it beautiful. How are you making sure you're working with folks to really spread the word? Yeah, well, one way is through our Blue Water Task Force that's been around for decades here where we monitor this border water issue and we provide water quality information to protect public health and get communities involved in implementing solutions. Um, and then that what we're doing specifically to address water quality at the border are three things. We are raising awareness in the public and with our elected officials about the impact of cross-border sewage and waste. We are advocating for stronger solutions at the source and this includes investing in wastewater infrastructure, and we are also um, engaging local communities in protecting the waterways and beaches that matter most to them. We're here with Bethany, a volunteer for Surfrider, and uh, you are actually part of the Clean Border Water Now group. Talk to us about why that's important for you to volunteer for this group. We live and work in Imperial Beach, and this problem is centered here but has a bigger impact than just in Imperial Beach but since we live where this is centered it's really important to make sure that we are part of the solution. So for me I see just a, a massive expanse of, of ocean water. What's going on in this water? So when the sewage gets into the water and we swim in it along with the chemicals that's when we end up with people with respiratory illnesses, ear infections, skin rashes, all kinds of things like that. And it becomes a problem not only for people who recreate, but we have border patrol, we have other law enforcement, fire, police that have to get in that water to rescue. And we also have north of us, we have the Navy SEALs that are training in this water. Right, this is a huge military town uh, and uh, that's an obligation for these men and women to get in these waters. And we want these waters to be as clean as possible. And to be honest, with climate change, it's gonna just increase the impact. L little by little, step by step, it's very much in line with the way that we uh, run to a crisis as you are with Surfrider. We so appreciate how, the, how Verizon sees that we need help, that we are working really hard to combat this issue, and we love that Verizon wants to help us make an impact. When we bring people together to save our coast and ocean and our wildlife, it just produces a lot of happiness, improves the quality of our lives, but also gives people really concrete things they can do to make a difference, and that's more important than ever.